welcome welcome back to beers and biscuits it has been a little bit of a break we're now on season two we're so happy to be back we're so excited i'm nicole i'm karen grab yourself a beverage give your dog a biscuit and enjoy the conversation and clearly we're starting off the same way we left off (laughs) With yeah. one of us really having a clue. We're we're professionals, <laughs> you know? We're we know what we're doing. <laughs> but I think so I think it does jump us right in though, Karen, yes. to some of the changes that we plan to make for this season. And okay. one of those is let's face it, we are much better when we're just having a chat and we're just talking and it's you being you and me being me and exactly. we're not trying to be so, you know, so professional. Formal. So formal with our, so with our formal. hands. Yep. So, <laughs> yeah. So look at me. I've got a podcast and we're like, you know, super on top of things. Like that's just not us in every no. day of mm-hmm. life. So yeah. We're not going to be giving you season two like that. Uh, It's going to be a lot less formal, a lot more uh, conversational, a lot less sterile, and hopefully a lot more laughs. Um, Yeah. So what about you, Karen? What are you excited about for season two? Well, I'm just excited for um, during the editing process when you send me all of the sound clips of my laugh that you <laughs> like to <laughs> single out. Um, but no, no, I'm just excited because I feel like at the end of season one, we really were starting to find our footing and find out, figure out how we wanted to do this thing and how what we want it to be like. And so I'm excited right. to really take it there and continue to share guardian stories but also share our stories because that's that's what we really started this out we wanted a space to be able to speak on the things that we care about so much and we felt like we both have so much to say and you know social media is great but you can only say so much and so i'm looking forward to us sharing more about our experiences and what we deal with. But like I also said, I'm excited to continue to share those, those guardian stories because that's what this business is all about at the end of the day, connecting with people and helping them. So it's, it's going to be a good time, I think. Yeah, I think so. And I think our little change of format, I think is going to go a long way. Like, you know, we really kind of took to heart some of the feedback that we got from people um shout out to Jamie um in her feedback because you know if anybody listened to Jamie's episode last season you know that she doesn't pull any punches and she says things like they are and so um I really took to heart some of the things that she said about kind of what we were missing a little bit when we were trying to make it so polished yes and so I feel like um you know, I feel like this is going to be a lot better. It's going to be more, it's going to be more like us. So absolutely. And I like to think we're fun. (laughs) Um, I know that anytime anybody ever says, well, I'm fun, they're the exact opposite of fun. (laughs) But (laughs) I I like to think it's like you said, it's just going to be more fun. It's going to be, you know, we're still going to tackle some of those harder topics like we did in season one. But we're just going to have a little bit more of a good time with it because that's, that's what we want to do. Right. And that's what we can do because this is our podcast. Gosh, darn it. Right. We can do whatever <laughs> we want. I do what I want. I do what I want. And the, yeah. And I mean, the other thing for me too, is that, you know, really, really letting go a little bit of the process and the editing and really more you know, giving people more of what it is actually like to be kind of sitting here and talking to me and you. And Mm -hmm. that is, you know, we're going to mess up. (laughs) We're going to probably stumble. We're probably going to say things out of order. So I'm not going to be going back in and like, you know, putting things where we had hoped they would go or, 
you know, rearranging our conversation so it flows better, you're going to get what you get. And that's us talking to people that we hope you'll find, you know, something interesting or helpful in their story. You get well, us what you see. And I think too, like the beautiful thing about that is that's kind of also one, obviously as cheesy as it sounds, that's life. Like we can't go back and edit and take out things that we said or redo things as much as we wish we could. But I also so also think it leads more to the authentic experience of what it is like being a dog guardian or a dog professional that, you know, it's not going to always go the way we hope or plan and right. we're going to have to, you know, just roll with it. And that's, that's life with dogs. We you, like, for example, we got a new sofa. What did CJ decide to do? He decided to get an open wound and then go sit on the sofa. So it's like oh, no. that. <laughs> that's just of how course. it is. Like things happen, and we can't, we can't go mm. back and change it. Right. I don't know. So that's what we're gonna what we're gonna give you from beers and biscuits season two. Right. And I think kind of a bigger picture of that too is that you have keep kind of prodding me to yes. <laughs> eventually get to the point where we are actually doing this and we're giving everybody the video. And this is kind of, for me, it's like one little step closer to that. I'm still not really set on showing the video or doing this live but this is a step in that process exactly. right like it's it's a little bit more live and than... honestly the other side of that is the day you finally agree to share the video side of it I'm going to be slightly cursing myself because then I'm gonna have to make sure I washed my hair that day <laughs> and that is going to be just a lot for me <laughs> I'm just going to, I'm just going to one day just put it out live right? You, and I won't even tell you. And then you'll Perfect. look and be like, oh my God. <laughs> <laughs> but again, here's the thing that that's just me. Like, okay. Like I'm not like a dirty human being. I wash my hair every other day. It's not like I'm gross, but it's like, dirty. I'm also not embarrassed of that fact either. Like it always looks somewhat decent. So if you put it out, there you go. You This is, this is who we are that we're not trying right. to you know, not be that way. And so I, I'm just excited that people are going to get more of who we right. are this season. Yeah, exactly. Exactly. I'm, I'm excited for it. And I'm excited for, you know, a lot of the topics that we have coming up. I am very excited for the guests that we have yes. coming up. I'm very excited. I'm excited that we're branching and expanding a little bit yes. um that we're covering things maybe that we wouldn't have in season one that we're um being more open to different conversations I don't know if that's a hint 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 for people out there but um but yeah I'm super <laughs> excited I'm super excited for what I we, am too what and planned. I feel like in season one we kind of just dove right off into the deep end and we hit some very heavy conversations. We dealt with grief. We dealt um, right with other things that just immediately left my brain. And normally we'd go back in and edit this. Um, <laughs> <laughs> I was there for season one, guys. Don't worry. Um, we dealt with some big topics in season one, I feel. And like, while we're still going to be sharing some harder topics. I feel like maybe it's going to be a little bit lighter this season. Um, but I hope that everybody right. comes into it with, you know, open ears, I'd say open eyes, but nobody will be seeing this. <laughs> um, open ears, open hearts, and just take something from each episode. And I, I do also believe there's something in each episode that somebody is going to be able to identify with or be like, yeah, I've totally been there or, oh yeah, I'm not the only one that's experienced that. So it's definitely, it's definitely a good season in my opinion. Yeah, definitely. I feel like you, like we're 
almost in my head for a second. Like we, hmm. we had an idea. We went, we went with it. We did it. Um, I'm glad that we did. Yes. But, um, you know, I think, like you said, we lost ourselves a little bit in the process and getting and wanting to get out as much information out to people as we could versus wanting to get us, us out to yes. people. Yeah. I like that. I like that. Yeah. Because like it, like, like we've said, and now we're just kind of regurgitating it, but <laughs> this is us. Um, yeah. I think like, like we've said, I just really feel like as we were recording this season and we're not done recording it yet, but as we were going along, like I just felt more and more excited about right. this and more like, yes, this is what I wanted this podcast to be from the beginning. And I'm sure we will tweak it still, you know, we're still figuring out exactly how we want it to look and how we want it to go. And I can only thank the guests that we have had on from season one and this next season for really like sticking with us and helping us figure it out because there's been so many times we log in and sound isn't working or video isn't going and we're, you know, texting or emailing back and forth with our guests and they've just been so understanding and so beautiful right. and lovely. And so I'm, I'm very grateful to share their stories. Absolutely. And I think too, a little bit different this time is, you know, really asking the guest what they feel most comfortable talking about. I mean, we still have kind of, you know, a couple ideas that we throw at them, like, you know, knowing who they are, we're not, you know, you know, kind of, hey, we know this about you. And these are the kind of things that maybe we were thinking about, but really letting the guests decide what they felt most comfortable talking about, I think has been really helpful in just getting that flow and that natural conversation. Because at the end of the day, like if they are not comfortable, you know, in their skin talking about something, it's going to come through and then it's going to yes. come through on us trying to, you know, kind of pull information out of them. So I feel like that's a little bit, you know, a little bit different that we're, we're doing too. I think something that I've kind of been gathering that, to some things actually um, for this next one. And this goes along with what you were saying that these people that were these guests that we have on, they feel so comfortable with it is my first observation is more often than not, the guest will say, oh my gosh, I should stop talking. I'm rambling now. Right. And we're always like, no, you're, this is so good. And then the other observation that I've had, which is just so much R plus for me, and I think it probably is for you too, Nicole, but after we get off the recordings, it's the text message or the DM or the email that's like, oh my God, that was so much fun. You made that such an enjoyable experience. I was so nervous going in and then it was just so much fun. So that to me is just like so gratifying to know that we've made a place where people feel comfortable sharing their stories and they also enjoy the process. Right. Yeah. And I think that's, you know, that's not that we did not have fun last season or that our guests didn't have fun last season. But again, I think we were just so enmeshed in the process mm -hmm. of trying to get this off the ground that we lost a little bit of that. So, so yeah, so I'm, I'm super excited too. Like I have um, just a, a real like sense of levity and you know like I'm renewed about yeah. you know kind of going into these these interviews with people so I'm excited me too and I can't wait and and if you're listening to this and you're one of those people that's been kind of on the fence we are always looking for more guests so send us an email send us a dm we would love to to share your story and something we were talking about before we hit record here too is even if you have heard your or a similar experience to your story before we still want to hear it again you know because each experience whether it's aggression separation anxiety grief whatever it may be 
each experience is different and how we learn and how we make those experiences feel less isolating and less difficult is sharing those stories multiple times. Because what is the statistic or the research or something? It's like people need to hear something at least three times or it might be more. I don't remember, but like at least three times before it like sinks in for them. So if we share a story again and again and again, and it makes people feel less alone in that separation anxiety or in that grief journey, then I really think we're doing our job. So don't hesitate to be a guest. Right. I mean, everybody, everybody's experience with said thing is, is going to be different. So, you know, like you're saying, even if we've had three or four episodes about being the guardian or steward to a reactive dog, that person's unique experience is is going to be different, obviously, than the next person that talks about it. And so there might be someone in the audience that pulls something out of, you know, the first interview that they may not necessarily pull out of the second or vice versa. And so, you know, absolutely, we are a thousand percent, you know, wanting people's stories, uh, looking forward to interviewing more guardians. And I think too, we had mentioned briefly about, you know, even if somebody doesn't want to necessarily come on the show and like sit down and talk to us and be recorded, like if you have a story and you want to share it and it's something that you just maybe want to have us like read or, you know, kind of share that way, we would be more than willing to do that too. Like you don't have to actually come on and, you know, sit down with us and see our beautiful faces. Um, you know, it, it's a lot. I can understand that it's definitely a lot for people, especially if you're, you know, in a position where you're maybe struggling with your dog or, you know, struggling with a with a behavior that you might not necessarily want to have that level of vulnerability that comes with sharing it, you know, out in the open. If there's things that you think people can take from your story, by all means, send it to us. I think the other thing I'd like to tack on to that too is I've found so many times as we're setting up these interviews or, you know, going back and forth, encouraging people to share, people are always like, well, I don't have fancy equipment. I don't have headphones or my, you don't need that. You don't, don't worry about the setup. You know, we've recorded people from their iPads, from their phones, I mean, look, of course, everything's always going to sound better if you have a microphone and headphones and all the fancy schmancy stuff. But don't let that be something that that stops you from sharing your story either. Um, And then the other thing I'm excited, too, about is we are going to have our first male guest because Uh we've had all females so far so far. Um, And so that's going to be exciting. And I hope we get more from that side um, because their stories are just as valid. And I know that this is a female heavy industry. Um, so I'm excited to to share that male perspective as well. Right. Absolutely. Absolutely. And then, yeah, one other thing that you'll be missing from this season, which you know, probably isn't that big of a deal to most people, but even though it is beers and biscuits, Karen and I will still be drinking. We'll still be sharing biscuits <laughs> with our dog, but we're, <laughs> we're again, following some of that advice from people that are, you know, in the industry or in an industry where they do this kind of stuff all, all the time, but we're not going to be sharing specifically who we're drinking um unless it is an actual sponsored episode (laughs) unless somebody unless there's a a beer or a brewery or whatever out there that actually wants to sponsor that would be awesome hint 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 to those out there but no yeah we we're not we're not gonna be you know giving out free ads to big companies that make more than we will probably ever see in our lifetime. But fear not, we will still be drinking our beer. (laughs) 
And now because we're going to be less formal about it, you're probably going to like hear that can open randomly or (laughs) you're going to hear me like slurping it down. (laughs) Yeah. So a little bit different format, a little bit lighter, a little bit more fun, hopefully, and a little bit more us. Who could ask for anything more? (sighs) I feel like we need to keep consist a little consistent with last season and I just want to be corny and cheesy and vulnerable and just thank you again for wanting to continue this journey with me because it's it's a lot of fun it's a lot of work I know we butt heads from time to time on some things and I just well nothing like bad but you're like the sound (laughs) quality and I'm like chill it's fine and then you know that kind of stuff Um, (laughs) Um, but wait a minute. minute. Have I been sleeping? (laughs) But, uh, no, I'm just, I'm really thankful that you're still, still my podcast host. Yeah, of course. You can't get rid of me. No, we're like the, the ticks, the New England deer ticks. Yeah. Just when you think they're gone, even when there's snow, there's another one. Exactly. Exactly. (laughs) So, so yeah, so we're. We're so excited. We hope that you dive into and enjoy season two. And with that, please don't forget to give your dog a biscuit. And until next time.